This is five games that made Jen a gamer. I'm Scott. I'm Jen. We're Retro Rivals, and this is basically kind of a video response, to... but not because we kind of invited ourselves to the video response. Yeah. <laughs> well, he did, listen, he did say, feel free to comment below, and we were like, listen, we're extra. We need to do what we want to do. So the poor man's retro game room did a great video on yeah. five games that made him a gamer and we want to play along and I'm going to go first. See, he's not even in in our like Friend regular group, yeah, group like of our YouTube. YouTubers, but it came up in my algorithm and I was like, and it gave me it a, a lot of video. a lot of uh, get to know gamer vibes. It I was did. just like, oh, this is really cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So without further ado, Jen has five-ish games. I, I mean, okay. And one honorable mention. So we'll get the honorable mention out of the way yes. first. We're going way back. Way back. Way back. Gonna have to dig, dug this one out. Yes. It's Atari. So <laughs> I do have several memories of Atari games. Dig Dug really stands out because I think it was a very simple game and easy to play. And how old were you when you played that? I was young. My parents had an Atari probably before we were born. 13 or 14, were you like? Shut up. <laughs> but Atari, like, Dig Dug's just one of those games that there's not a lot of skill involved. You're gonna, you know, move You're the leaving me open for jokes. Move the stick down to where your enemy is. You press the button to shoot them, you blow them up, and you move on to the next guy, and you get all the enemies, and then you move on to the next level. It's a very simple game, but it was very addictive. So I loved to play Dig Dug. There was a bunch of other Atari games I could have mentioned, but this one really stood out in my mind. All the Atari games are the same thing. It's yeah. Like wash, rinse, repeat, get you hooked. But yeah. Not like you're going to sit there for six hours. Like, exactly. Yeah. All right, next one on the list. You're going a little bit newer. A little bit newer. NES. Yes. Bubble Bobble. Bubble Bobble. Um, this one I have mentioned on the channel before. Uh, this has a lot of nostalgia for me because it's the first game my brother and I really got addicted to. It's a two-player game, and you're... 99 levels or 100? I, I, I'm not sure. So never I'm, got there. Never got there. But we used to rent this all the time. I don't know why we didn't own it. When we would go to Bathurst... It looks like you, we may have owned that when you were a kid. Right? It's a pretty uh, rough copy, but hey, it does, does the job. Yeah, so when we would go to Bathurst um, to my Aunt Yvonne's for either baseball tournaments or hockey t tournaments, depending on which one. Uh, my brother played hockey, I played baseball, we both played baseball. But we didn't play baseball. I played softball. But we would bring this game, we'd rent this game, we never owned the game, and we'd sit up and my Aunt Yvonne would put it on a little color TV up in one of the bedrooms and we'd just play all day. We'd stay on my parents' hair, we'd stay on my aunt, my great aunt's hair, and we'd just go upstairs and play Bubble Bubble and we had a blast with it. It's a perfect babysitter. It's a perfect babysitter. Alright, all right, the next one is a kind of a stack of three. It's a bundle. It's a bundle. Bundle. She's bundling already yeah. here. So the bundle of three. The we bundle have of NES three. games. We have Wheel of Fortune, Pictionary. Yep. Win, lose, or draw. Yes. And we played all three of these in equal measures. Um, and this was more of a family night. This was a family night yeah. for sure. Uh, my mom could probably be inspired to become a gamer if she could figure out how to use the controls. Like, my mom is someone that would really, really two, enjoy gaming. Two buttons are too much? For no, but I'm talking about more modern, modern games. games yeah. But we would sit down and play this as a family. If we weren't playing board games, we would play these sort of video games as a family. And we would even bring them to other people's houses. So if we were going out over to spend the evening and we were going to do something all family oriented, we'd bring over these games and we'd play it with the entire group. You tried to talk me into several times getting rid of these because you're like, they're just garbage games. I'm like, space. they're not garbage we games. We have the Everdrive. I know, but I need that personal memento. Space. These are not my games from when I was a kid, but, no. you know. Oh, I think I only had one Nintendo game from when I was a kid. Yeah. Yeah. Next one on the list. I think you're going from oldest to newest. I basically am. Oh, yeah? Yeah. 
All right, next yeah. one on the list. We got Super Nintendo. It yes. is Donkey Kong Country 2. Yes, I have played this. This is probably one of my most played games ever. I did play it when I was younger, but that's not where the love for Donkey Kong Country 2 really... Are you talking about the addiction? Yeah, the addiction. Early 20s gen, staying up half the night playing Donkey Kong Country 2. And yes. Getting a couple hours of sleep and then going to work. Not only did I do that, <laughs> you set up a whole room for me. I did, because she was doing an emulation style on an old PC. Yes, and I said to him when he built me that desk, and it was really super cool, it was the whole length of the room, and it was a nice, like, wood top desk. I'm like, you watch, we're going to lose this room soon. And we did to Alex. Somebody got pregnant. It became the baby's room, so I lost my ability to play it. But when I started gaming again, it was one of the first games I picked up and played through when we got this game room together. You wouldn't happen to have a picture of that old desk there. I built oh, I should check. <laughs> I should check. That would be at least 20 years ago. Not quite, Not quite 20 years ago, but close. Alex will be 17, so All right. yeah. We're getting into... Uh, you pull those both in together. Oh. Yeah. <sighs> Not a... All right, PS1 goodness. Mm -hmm. We have Resident Evil, number one, and Silent Hill, number one. Yes. Now, in all honesty, I still haven't played through Resident Evil all the way. However, I'm hoping for a remake. I know, whatever. Maybe some people are tired of the remakes. This is big nostalgia for me. This, I've, I've always been a horror fan from as young as I can remember or a, an adrenaline junkie. I wanted to do things that would like, you know, spike my blood pressure or something. But my brother and I used to sit in his room when I was probably in my late teens, 17, 18, 19, and Tony would play these and I would be like, don't play without me. I'm gonna come and sit in the room with you and I'll help you with the math. So while I didn't physically play them, I would sit in with Tony and play them, but I always aspired to want to. I just didn't know how to use the controls. So when we started Gamer Education, this one was the game that Dennis put on my list of three oh, yeah, for me Dennis to play, and I had yeah. to pick that one. I was terrified to play it, because I still hadn't been playing a lot of horror <laughs> games. I wanted to, yeah. but I was afraid of them. And I have big, big nostalgia for this game, for both of them. Uh, so if you want to spike your blood pressure, guys, Either play these games or try what I do and just eat some salty food. Mm. <laughs> you got one more game. Does anybody want to take a guess what it is before I take it out? Yeah. I think you might be able to guess. It's on the 360. It's Alice. Madness Returns. Okay, guys, are you getting tired of hearing me? Oh. Whoa! Are All you right. getting Good. tired of hearing me talk about this yet? It. We went on a trip post-COVID when things were just starting to open up. To PEI that summer and up until then I had been kind of on the channel I had been playing games I didn't really have a voice yet I wasn't picking my own games I go game you were hunting asking with you. for recommendations but yes. you didn't find your own thing. I didn't and then when we were just searching in a store I came across this one and I'm like oh my god like I was picking a book by its cover kind of deal or a game by its cover but I was like, that's really cool. I, I, I love the we, idea of that. I know that. where we picked it up. Yeah. The business cards in Yeah. There. Wheelers and dealers. Yeah. Yeah, in PEI. I think so. I don't know. They do have a Facebook page. 506, maybe not. Oh, you know what? Jen's lying. No, I picked up the PS3 version first, Over maybe. There, maybe. And then I got this one, but I had to have them both. Either way, this was the first game that gave me any sort of voice as a gamer. I started picking games that I would want to play, and now it's like, it's all lost. Like, he goes one way when we go in the game store, I go the other, yeah. and we meet in the middle, and he's like, trying anything cool? Because I really like hunting and searching for my own games now. It's something that I was missing in that game hunting. That was the, that's the key. That's the game that- That was that, the key that really got her to be a gamer. Yes. Because I feel like when we first did, um, am I a collector, a gamer or a collector? Are you a, yeah, are you a gamer or a collector first? Or I said collector Yeah. because I wasn't gaming as much. I found that game and I became a gamer. I, I love our collection. I wouldn't want to lose it. 
but playing these games are very, very important to me. More so than if I had to get rid of them, I'd still find a way to play. Oh, I, I'd have to play games. It's ingrained in it's, me now. Uh, it's, it's an escapism. It's a way for, it forces me to sit down yeah. and have some fun time because adult life can get busy. It can. And I've been busy lately. Yeah. Yeah, I get grumpy. Yeah, <laughs> you, you really do. You yeah. really do. And it's in, a, it's in a form of escapism for me. I, yeah. I enjoy digging into another world and just, you know, escaping reality. It's, it's a nice little shift. So those are the five games ish, ish. plus one honorable mention that uh, made me the gamer I am today. So please go check out the poor man's retro game room. Um, he inspired I, I this video. He inspired the video. Yeah. It's, he, I, I, literally that's the first video I've seen ever from him. But now I'm going to be checking out. Oh his yeah, channel. we've subscribed yeah. to the channel. I hope you guys do too. And uh, I asked him for permission. I know there's no original content on YouTube anymore. And he even said, it's... I just want you to know I got this from a short, too. He, yeah. he didn't want to take complete credit yeah, for it's... it. But you know what? It's you, nice to you. just to ask. Yeah, it's always yeah. nice to ask. But credit to him because he we saw his video and, and uh, we enjoyed what we saw. So yeah. it was a fun watch. Cool. All right, guys. Until next time, game on.